Racer by night. That's your top four. A main time right here at Avalon Raceway. Night number one. Let's see if we can get a winner. 25 laps on the board. Let's get it on at Avalon. Mayolo decides to go to the outside. Who are just doing a leader right now at the moment. Trying to hold on in turn three and four. Ricky Mayolo in two. Pesca moves up to three. Buckingham in four. TVG in five. So that's your top five at the moment. Pesca. Oh, he's testing out the shocks on that S27 car right now. Occupies P3. Had to just straighten up a little bit. So Kutcher has just moved up a little bit on the track in turn one and two. This is interesting right now. Will this track widen out? I think he washed off a little bit of speed. Ricky Mayolo is almost within closing distance. They chop and change. Mayolo goes to the inside group, which has been an operation majority of tonight. Pesca now coming on to the back of Mayolo. That's a battle for second and third. Buckingham is behind them as Buckingham gets bucked. He's trying to hold on to Jake Smith in the 72. He's in the top five spot at the moment. Ryan Jones is coming. The drive for five is alive right here for Ryan Jones in the 63. Tate Frost is behind. Frost, Jones, Jones, Frost. There's a little bit of hack of the thought going on there at the moment as both of them take a little bit of a whiff of the inside move in three and four. It's Frost that just washes off the speed. Action pack right now. TVG has got Brett Milburn. Chris Solomon's got Sparks coming out. Tancredi's there as well. But Bill's there and it's back markers are plenty ahead of Jock Goodja. Right now we are moving down 18. We'll go to 17. We started with 25 a short time ago. Everybody has found their groove right now, but it's Jock Goodja who is your leader. The VA 71 is in full demand right now. But for how long, Gavis? Everywhere you look, there is lap traffic on the outside, the inside, and Jock looks smooth, but he's had the chopper change. Oh, yeah, and he needs to be careful as well. Keep the nose clean as we go to yellow. Make that red. Have a look at the train wreck in turn number four. Josh Buckingham with a front wing that's flat. So, too, is Chris Solomon. Ryan Jones is upside down. Danny Pesca, Jake Smith, Buckingham. Next in line is Brett Milburn. Milburn will need to be careful as Buckingham, look at him get a push right across the nose of the 68. Milburn picks him off. Solomon as well gets a push. Tank Freedy will try to go after him. They drag race up the main straight away. Tate Frost, Terry Kelly, boy, they got close. Jake Smith all over Danny Pesca. Good, yeah. 10 down, 15 to run. From Ricky Maiolo, followed by Pesca. Jake Smith off the line. He continues to hunt Jock. Daniel Pesca rockets her on the inside. Picks him off a second. Jake Smith still drives them a punk of grains. Number 72 in P4. Followed by Brett Milburn in fifth. Boy, it is busy. Further back in the field, Jakey, with eight to run. Jock Goodyear, large and in charge with a back marker or two between he and Danny Pesca. Title holder as he takes the white flag. He's got one to run to pick up night number one here. Brought to us by Dirtex Industries. It'll be funny enough, he might even pass him on turn three and four. As there's three or four back markers there. It doesn't matter because the check is he's out. Good to his pass. He picks up night number one and Ricky Mayolo. Ricky Mayolo is on his lid right between turn one and two. And just when the checkers was coming out, Goodger was the first over. Ricky Mayolo was battling it out for P2 and P3 with Pesca. And now sits it on the side as the red lights come on. Just as we were concluding tonight, number one, Gav, we thought it was done and dusted. We were looking forward to Jock Goodja. We were looking forward to Daniel Pesca. And the next man to go over the line we were waiting for was Ricky Mayolo. And now he sits, the S24 on the side. Mayolo. Good. Boy, up to that point, what a great night. It started on the front row, had been more than competitive chasing down Good Jock. Job. Well done, Jock. So still under red light situation. Let's jump in line and we'll grab him as a feature race winner on prelim night number one here at Avalon Raceway.